started off, let's take a look at the aspects that I think are the best in the fragments. We're going with knock them down. It says your solar supers are enhanced. Golden gun deadshot has increased duration and blade barrage launches more projectiles. Those are the two best ones that I think in terms of supers, as you'll see right now when I break it down in the gameplay. It says as well, while radiant final blows with your equipped throwing knife fully refund your melee energy. So good neutral play right there. On your mark states precision final blows grant you a nearby allies increase weapon handling and reload speed for a short duration is stacks three times activating your class ability immediately grants maximum stacks on your mark so we're going to be using the new dodge acrobats dodge is actually still really good um compared to the other ones you get your melee back with gambler's dodge reload with marksman's dodge um but this one is brand new and it actually offers you radiant so it's a free damage bonus on command we'll read what it says your weapons are enhanced by the power of the traveler and deal increased damage to foes so not only are you getting the increased handling but you're also getting a weapon damage i tested it with a bunch of weapons like igneous hammer it doesn't two tap i tested it out with arbalist it doesn't one tap i tried it with a high impact sniper rifle and it doesn't one tap so it does a lot of damage but not enough to abuse some of the weapons that you know with one bonus damage they just go crazy mode for my fragments i'm using ember I was saying uh your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets ember of torches powered melee attacks against combatants make you a nearby allies radiant so it's just an attack you could throw a trip mine whatever you want you tag them and you have radiant so that's a bonus damage to you and nearby tar uh, allies ember of solace uh radiant and restoration effects apply to you have increased duration so that applied with the dodge or that other fragment that I showed you means that you just have Radiant for much, much longer. Ember of Searing, defeating Scorched targets grants melee energy. So if I hit somebody with a throwing knife or any grenade in that fact, I have more melee energy. So that combines with proximity and it helps you with all the other neutral play shenanigans. The reason I'm going proximity explosive knife is because it's probably the easiest one to get damage on. You throw it at a random spot, the proximity will proc as soon as somebody walks by it. You get the free bonus damage uh, or whatever, thanks to the Radiant, and, you know, it just helps with the fragments and everything else you're playing with. Next up, we have Ember of Be uh, Benevolence, applying restoration, pure Radiant to allies, grants increased grenade, melee, and class ability regeneration for a short duration. Whenever I proc Radiant on my allies, or I proc the other effects, such as this one, the torches, I have grenade melee and class ability regeneration increased for a short duration. So those abilities are just coming back quicker. Let's take a look at the supers. I'm going with the six shooter golden gun. It lasts a very long time. And the hitbox on it is still really fire. Like, look at this. A little bit closer. Don't have to be exactly on target, so don't have to worry about that too much. The other one is actually insane, which is blade barrage. You throw so many more projectiles, it's almost very difficult to miss a target. You'll take a look here. <laughs> okay, you weren't supposed to move, but uh, Blade Barrage might be the go-to pick for me. Also, there's a, another wild thing. Whenever I Blade Barrage on top of the player, for whatever reason, it's still like Blade Barrage tracks below me sometimes. It's kind of weird. Uh, let's see if he's in view, maybe. Uh, there are some moments though the blade barrage will like hit the player right below me so this one is just it's, it's pretty easy to tag you're gonna get a guaranteed kill if you hit a player with this and obviously the aim is very generous you don't have to be directly on them one thing to know with blade barrage is that you do have two attacks so i'll show you you can shoot once here and you can shoot one behind you you can practice with that front and then back so i had throwing us on both angles with some practice, you can get multi-kills with that. So that's it for supers. Let's show you the dodge. This one you cannot proc in the air. And it actually makes it very difficult to get hit by a target. My palindrome has increased damage. In fact, any weapon has increased damage for the seconds that you see on the screen. And then you also have the handling bonus that you get from the aspect. So you can apply that to shock if you want to swap quickly. Obviously, the dodge has a longer cooldown, but I think the trade-off is very much worth it, especially because you're a hard target to hit when you do dodge, and you get all those benefits from just blocking a dodge. So the reason I'm going proximity knife, you'll see right now, if I don't get a direct hit, proximity will proc, and the whole idea is to get that radiant. I get the damage bonus, dead. When it comes to grenades, you can really go with whatever you want. I think the best ones would be trip mine, solar grenades, my grenades possibly incendiary grenades or swarm nades depends on your play style but solar nades trip mines and the thermites are definitely going to be the strong ones to use big damage 
And all these abilities are just synergizing with each other. I want you to see what it looks like for me to try to shoot a player that dodges. So let's see what, what it looks like for me. <laughs> Very acrobatic, man. Freaking hunters. That's why they got the Trollos ape helmet. Anyways, that's pretty much it when it comes to that. Let's take a look at some of the exotics I recommend when it comes to just purely strict, uh, strictly using solar ability. So Young Ahamkara Spine is really good for those trip mines. You go for Shards of Galanor if you want to get your super back quickly. Really won't really matter that much. Um, I wouldn't use Asterisk Embrace, to be honest. It's okay. I like using Six Coyote or Ophidia Space to get those throwing knife gameplay going down. And that's some of the basic stuff. You can use Bombardus too because it applies burn on dodge. I need to learn this map a little bit more still. Zone C captured. Enemy claimed oh. zone A. See one in the distance. Double down. Have bonus damage. In numbers, Guardian. Excellent. We already spawn wiped them. What's it looking like over there? What's the danger like? Don't be captured. You have a drop. Don't see lost. Nice wipes. Go back to see. Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours. That's got a damage bonus now. Zone C captured. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold them. Zone A lost. Nobody to two tap right now. Oh my! That la dude, the two tap potential lasts too long, doesn't it? Smartnade. Let's go ahead and get a two tap potential. Your killing intent is unmatched, Hunter. Together as one. I love you. Bungie thought this was fair? My Titan is crying, man. Well, I got restoration or a uh, damage bonus right there. That's why we have fire team. Yo, my Titan is crying. Triple down. Oh, he's so one shot. The Sunbreaker Super, I want to get out of that. <laughs> We're losing him. Sitting back a lot. Uh oh. Might just have to camp and wait for them. Don't see lost. Have one more grenade launcher shot. Advantage. That guy's hiding on that side, running away. Together as one. I love it. There's a primary like kill. The We're gonna proc that radiant and try to find somebody to fight. Nice 
shots. I was too weak. I should have given it a second longer to regen. But I'm greedy. I have Radiant now. Free damage bonus. Can you play out there? Can you play back there? Double down. One minute. Won't be long now. Go trip mine. Fire team that fights together stays together. It's a lot of them back there. Thirty seconds stand between you and victory. The victory was game over. The pace of that match was interesting. It didn't feel too crazy. Excuse me, a Jotun catalyst that exists? What in the world are they giving the Jotun? <laughs> People hate that thing.